Hello guys, welcome to Drinks Undressed. This week we'll be showing you a really easy way to make a good quality margarita at home um, using fresh ingredients, things you've got at home. So uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to take our old infusion jar, which we haven't seen for a few weeks, and we are going to grab a little bit of orange zest. Most people would make a quality margarita. You're going to be using a triple sec or Cointreau, um, some kind of orange liqueur. But um, in the absence of that, and obviously Drinks on Dress is about making uh, drinks affordable as well as easy. So what we're going to do, we're actually just going to take the orange zest and we're going to infuse the tequila with the orange zest. So we have a kind of orange flavoured tequila. Got a whole orange zest in there and we're just going to dump on a nice good quality I'm using a Blanco today but you could use a Reposado if you wanted. So we're just going to dump that straight on there aren't we Rocket? You impressed by that? Smells good? Oh no. <laughs> a little strong at this stage. Give it a shake. And then we're going to leave that for 24 hours, okay? Somewhere warm. It's just going to speed up the, uh, the exchange process that happens. And here's one that we made last night, ready for the show. So uh, there you go, you can see already the color on that. The color from the orange has come straight through, so we've got a lovely, let's have a little whiff. Oh, yes, the <coughs> beautiful orange flavors coming through. And then what I'm going to do, um, similar to uh, a Tommy's margarita, we're going to be using agave syrup as the sweetener instead of the Cointreau because we've obviously got our orange tequila so we don't need any more orange flavours. And we're going to use the agave syrup, real trendy at the moment, really good kind of like, you know, superfood almost. Um, and obviously it's a great, great flavour, it's obviously what tequila is made of in the first place. So we're really going to be kind of like serenading the agave. Uh, a big lime, nice juicy lime, we're just going to squeeze in probably squeeze in a whole line actually so we've got a whole line in there and then we're gonna do one of our lovely little home pours around two ounces a homemade orange infused tequila and then I'm gonna do about a tablespoon and a half I'm using a raw agave syrup here so this is just just because I really like the flavor of agave I would always use hundred percent 100% agave tequila because that way you're just really uh, avoiding those nasty hangovers that people tend to associate with the cheaper tequilas that you get out there. We're just going to mix that through. We'll top that up with ice. You want an ice cube rocket? <laughs> oh no, he's dropped it. All right. So there we go. So we got our uh, we got everything in there that we need. We got our agave syrup. We got a whole lime in there, the zest and everything, just to give you that really, really strong, limey flavor that's gonna come from the zest. And we've got our raw agave syrup in there. We're just gonna give that a really nice, good, long shake. All right, look at that, it's looking beautiful. Whoa, oh, smell is amazing. It smells so good, so fresh, so vibrant. You've got the orange coming through there, you've got that lovely, rich, treacly notes from the agave. We're gonna take the old kosher salt, as is traditional. I like a good salt rim on mine. I know Tommy's Margarita, the one that we're kind of referencing here with the agave syrup instead of triple sec, calls for no salt rim, but uh, I really feel like a good salt rim makes the drink taste all that much better. So what we do, we just chop the end off the lime like that and just rim the edge like that. Just get, dunk that on there like that. And there we go, a nice little crust on the edge of the glass. If you don't like too much salt inside the drink, it's a good idea to just dust that out on the inside like that as well, so, the, so that the uh, salt's only on the outside of the rim food. Fill the glass up with ice, using the old barbecue tongs today. Did you manage to find that one, Rocket? Yeah, I have another one. I'm not sure what happened to that one. But you dropped it, eh? You got that? Not, not in the mood for ice today, too cold? <laughs> oh, yes, that looks amazing. A little twist. Twist and shout. Look at the actions over here, bro. What are you looking at me for, man? Loving my shirt or something? Oh, look at that. Can't wait to tuck into one of these. And then for a garnish, I mean, we could just leave that as is, but I reckon, why not, man? If you want to impress your friends, a garnish is always the way forward. So there we go, look at that. The classic wheel. Just on the top is your uncle. Super easy, super fresh. Amazing little margarita that Rocket, right, Rocket, <laughs> is going to love. We're all going to love those. And yeah, it couldn't be simpler. All you've got to do is infuse your tequila with a little bit of orange zest in, in the absence of a uh, triple sec or a Cointreau. 
Um, add a little bit of lovely fresh raw agave syrup for the sweetener and half a lime squeezed into our homemade shaker. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Happy mixing and enjoy your margaritas.